Hey everyone, it's Rachel and welcome to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be showing you guys what I have packed in my hospital bag. I'm now about 37 weeks I've had my hospital bag packed for about a week ish I started throwing things together around 35 weeks, slowly grabbing things, making a list, stuff like that. This is my first time having a baby, packing a hospital bag, so I had to look at a lot of lists and hear what other people put in their hospital bags because I really had no idea what I was gonna need or should bring or stuff like that. So we'll see when I actually go to the hospital if I ended up bringing everything I need or if I completely overpacked because I know a lot of first time moms do that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So I have two bags I'm bringing with me to the hospital. Um, there's one that's for like all the postpartum recovery, baby stuff, all like the little odds and ends. And then there's another one that has like our clothing and more of that kind of stuff. So I'll start with that. I'm putting all those things in this duffel bag. It's not really that big, um, but it's just, it fits everything. We don't have a ton of clothes or anything we're bringing. I don't expect we'll be there for super long. I know they told me for a C-section, they'd have me there for about 48 hours. I'm planning to go for a vaginal delivery, so I know it'll probably be shorter unless there are complications, so I don't plan on bringing a ton of stuff. For clothing, I'm bringing with me two different pairs of socks. These are more like just regular ankle socks. And then I also have a pair of fuzzy socks with little grips at the bottom. So if I'm feeling cold or just want to be a little bit more cozy, these will be really nice. If it's a warmer day, I'll probably be going with these. So I wanted to have a bit of an option. i am also packed this super comfy pair of romper pajamas from the garage. I think I talked about these in one of my other videos. It's super nice and loose and stretchy and it'll cover my postpartum belly really nicely. This has fit me through my whole pregnancy. It's not actually maternity pajamas. It just, it's stretched in the wash and it's been fitting me great, but it's just so soft and comfy and I know it'll be really nice just to wear this for after the baby's born. It's also got some buttons down the front which will make it really easy for nursing. For other clothing, I'm just gonna bring this black cami, really simple. It'll be easy to breastfeed in. I can just slide it down. I don't actually have any nursing tanks. I do have a couple nursing bras, but this should be no problem to nurse in and it's comfortable. Packing a flannel to go with it in case it's a little bit chilly in the hospital. This is just a really nice cozy soft flannel. Uh, so I'll be wearing this if it gets a little cooler over top of the cami. And then just bringing a pair of comfy lounge shorts. These are really nice and soft. I really like these. Um, so they'll be nice to recover in. And I'm also bringing with me this robe. This is actually something I bought for my wedding. This one was for me and then I got some darker blue ones for all my bridesmaids and for my mom. So this is really special and it'll be really nice having this in the hospital with me. It's got some lace detailing on the bottom and the sleeves and it's just really nice and soft and comfy. It'll be really nice for pictures too for after the baby's born. If I don't feel like putting on actual clothes, it'll be really nice to just lounge around in this. I know the hospital will probably provide me with those lovely mesh underwears that everyone is always talking about, but I wanted to bring a couple of my own pairs. I have a couple of the really large undies. I usually wear these during my period just because they're so much more comfortable. They come up higher on my belly and just, yeah, I really like them for when I'm going through cramping and stuff like that. So I thought it'd be nice to have these though I will probably be using the hospital underwear the whole time I'm there. And then lastly for me, I am bringing flip-flops. These will be for just in the shower or walking around in the hospital because I know hospital floors are probably a little bit gross. So I wanted to have some flip-flops for me to just throw on and wear if I don't want to wear socks or something. I mean, can't wear socks in the shower. So I wanted to bring these. Moving on to stuff I've packed for my husband. So like I said, I don't think we will be there super long. I didn't feel the need to pack a lot of stuff for him but I did bring a couple things so firstly for clothing I brought just a change of clothes for him it's bringing just a pair of underwear a shirt and then some shorts that he'll feel comfortable in just in case I don't know his clothes get dirty or he just feels gross and wants to change and then lastly also bringing for him his swim trunks because I know if I want to get into the tub or the shower if he doesn't want to get his shorts all wet he's gonna want to wear these so bringing these for in case I need him in the tub or the shower with me. I'm also bringing him a sleep mask. I don't know how long we're gonna be there, if we're gonna be staying overnight or whatever, 
but just in case I thought I'd bring him this so he can sleep better. I don't actually sleep very well with these so I'm not bringing one for myself plus I know I'm probably gonna have trouble sleeping with just dealing with a baby and nursing and stuff like that so I will manage if I need to but for him I know it'll be nice to have this. So that is everything for that bag. Now moving on to our other bag where we have all the random little items and the baby things. For that, I am bringing this diaper bag that we got off of Amazon. Um, I really like it because it's got a lot of different like pouches and pockets and stuff, so it's really easy to organize things. So I don't have to go just shuffling through a big bag to find what I want. I know there are specific pockets for each item, so that's really nice. So I'm bringing this, and I have a little sticky note on the front with all the last minute items we have to grab that I can't pack, like phones, toothbrushes, deodorant, chargers, stuff like that. Um, so I have a note on there just so I don't forget any of those things. But yeah, this is, bag will be really nice. Plus, it'll make it easier for Elias to bring the bags in because he can just carry the duffel bag and throw this on his back, make it a little bit easier for him not having to lug around a bunch of different bags. So firstly, in this one, I have our toiletries. So just have all our toiletries in a little bag. This has got our toothbrushes, our toothpaste, deodorant. I've got some dry shampoo in there because I don't know if I'm gonna feel up to having a full shower, but I will want to feel kind of more like myself and more presentable, especially for when we leave. So I've got some dry shampoo in here, a little bit of makeup so I can make myself look nicer for pictures and stuff. So all our toiletries and stuff are going in here, bringing some hair ties and chapstick. These are things a lot of women recommend you have in your hospital bag, especially the chapstick, just because your lips can get really dry when you're in labor and stuff. And then hair ties are just nice for if you want to throw your hair out of the way, it's bothering you, stuff like that. So bringing these. I'm also bringing our speaker because I would like to play some music while I'm laboring, just to give the hospital room kind of like a nice environment, keep me calm. I really like listening to kind of spa-like music or sleep time music. So wanted to bring this so we can play our own music. I have put together a playlist so that'll be really nice just to have in the room. I'm also bringing some Advil. This is for Elias just in case he happens to get a headache. I don't know, I don't want him to have to just deal with a headache while I'm in labor because that's not gonna be fun. So bring some Advil, bring a, just a plastic bag just to put any laundry in if our clothes get kind of dirty. We can just throw them all in here and don't have to mix them with all of our other stuff. Cause I know labor things can get really messy and kind of gross so if any of our clothes get dirty, we want to keep them separate and we'll be putting them in here and then cleaning them when we get home. Also bringing some snacks. Elias will be eating these while I'm laboring if he ends up getting hungry. Also bringing some muffins that are in the freezer right now. I'll be bringing some of those for him and for me as well. Um, I'll be enjoying these after the baby comes. I know they say dried fruit is also really nice for helping with constipation. So. I know that's a fun part of the postpartum process. So I wanted to bring some of these just for me to enjoy. So moving on from the little sort of random things here and there, now to like postpartum recovery things that I'm bringing for myself. I know the hospital will provide these for me, but I wanted to bring a couple of large pads um, just for just in case. Also going to bring with me some disposable nursing pads. I have no idea how much of a leaker I am going to be. So I wanted to have some of these just in case. I am planning on getting some reusable ones, but a lady from my church had a whole bunch of disposables that she was not needing and that she gave to me. So I decided I'll use these first and then when they run out, I will go and get some reusable ones. But I want to bring some of these with me just in case I happen to be a leaker. Bringing with me my Hakka breast pump. Now I'm not sure if I'll actually end up needing this while I'm there, but I wanted to bring it anyway, just in case. I've heard a lot of great things about this. I think it cost me just like 26 bucks. And I know it's really great for while you're breastfeeding. You can use it on the other side for catching any letdown. I know some women really love it. Other women say that it didn't really work super great for them, but I'm gonna find out. So I'm bringing this with me for just in case I end up wanting it or needing it. Bringing with me a bottle of this mama spray that I've DIY'd. It's got witch hazel in it, which has been diluted down with water. And then a couple drops of lavender and frankincense essential oil. So I know this will be really nice for just recovering for the postpartum process. A lot of women really like using this for just after they go to the bathroom or spraying it on their pads. And it's supposed to help with inflammation and just itching and irritation and all that stuff. 
So see how this works, but hoping it will really help me just get through the postpartum and feel a little bit more comfortable. Now moving on to more baby stuff. So the first thing I am bringing, I know the hospital will also provide this, but I am bringing with me a thing of wipes um, just for either for the baby or for me if I don't want to use toilet paper or just for cleaning up little messes and stuff. I probably will not end up using them because I know the hospital will have them, but I wanted to bring some. Also bringing with me a couple of little cloths just for cleaning up any little messes for burping, things like that. I'm also bringing with me a swaddle. This will be more for pictures. It's really soft, big, and it'll be really nice for the baby. Lastly, for baby things, I'm just bringing a little bundle of clothes. I've just kind of rolled up the clothes and the socks and stuck them in this baby hat just to keep it all together. So I've got a little pair of socks in here in the hat and then I've just got a little pair of pants which are so cute. I love the little buttons on the front and then just a simple white long sleeve onesie and it's got the little scratch mitts on it too which will be really nice this will be just a really nice cozy comfy outfit for the baby either for the photos or for when we go home i'm also bringing another pair of socks and a sleeper but it is not gender neutral so we'll wait until after the baby comes to show you that one so i just have one little outfit for the baby and then a sleeper. The very last thing I am bringing with us to the hospital is just this folder where we'll keep all the paperwork and information and everything they give us. Here right now I just have my birth plan, which I will be bringing with me, as well as these little cards. These are actually from our gender reveal with our family. And on each one of them we had them do predictions for the day they expected the baby to be born and what features they expected the baby to have from Elias and from me. So I thought it'd be fun to bring this with me to the hospital just to see who got it right or who was the closest. So that is everything I have packed in my hospital bags other than the last few things we're gonna grab last minute. Some of these things I might not end up using and some things I may wish I had brought with me that I did not. We will find out once the baby comes. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you're interested on seeing more of my videos about pregnancy or following along with my pregnancy for the last few weeks before our baby comes. And be sure to subscribe, hit the bell button so you're notified every time one of my videos goes up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.